In learning word order, we include learning conjunctions and the way they're used. Both the TMP rule and the conjunctions occur in relatively long sentences. We have to use the more analytical part of our brain to construct correct sentences according to the rules we've just learned. Once we've internalized a few patterns through practice, though, the more imitative and instinctive parts of our brain need to take over, and we continue to get it right more by imitation than analysis, even though the actual sentences vary. After all, we have developed into relatively sophisticated parrots. That's where the language games come in, and that's why they're so important. They help us to cross that bridge from analysis to instinct and make the step from manual to automatic. Most students try to understand the rules and then learn them by heart. The more conscientious ones might even do a few written exercises, but then there they stop. They go to Germany or meet a German, and while they clutch for rules tumbling around in their brains, their German counterparts politely address them in English, relishing the opportunity. But of course, we're not talking about you, are we? And if you don't want that to happen to you, continue. We're at the business end of the word order rules, dealing with more complex statements. Lots of oral application is therefore paramount. Let's get right into it then. TMP rules. You probably know what's coming. Yes, you have to make the sentences with a complete set of TMP. But we'll give you some help in finding places to go, times to do things, and ways in which to do them. We'll take this opportunity to give you an overview of the different prepositions used for different times and places. You'll also find a summary in the pod basket. Giving times, saying when. If you're giving the exact hour, use um. Um vier Uhr, um zwölf Uhr siebenunddreißig. For times of the day and days of the week, use am. Am Morgen, am Montag, am Montagabend. But you say in der Nacht. For seasons and months, use im. Im Sommer, im Januar. To indicate the year, as in English, in 1987, there's no preposition. 1987. For specific times or durations, use the accusative case. Jeden Dienstag, nächstes Jahr, letzten Montag, einen Monat, vier Tage, vier Tage lang. To indicate habitually repeated action, use the suffix s. Morgens, dienstags. It's like saying Tuesdays. Manner. How, in what way. There are lots of ways to express how you do something. Ich spiele mit meinem Vater. Ich spiele ohne meine Mutter. Ich spiele allein. You can talk about the means you use to do something. Ich fahre mit dem Bus. Or anything else that describes in what way you do something. Ich gehe ohne meinen Regenschirm. The possibilities are many, and we'll leave them to your imagination. Talking about places. Where to? If you're talking about going home or to a place with a name, use nach. Nach Hause, nach Berlin. Nach Deutschland. If you're going into a spacious building or place, use in followed by the accusative. Ich gehe ins Kino, ins Theater, in die Bibliothek, in den Park, in den Zoo, in die Stadt. If you're going to a place of unspecified size or to people, use zu. Ich gehe zur Bäckerei. Zur Post, zum Supermarkt, zur Uni, zu meiner Mutter, zum Zahnarzt. Place. Where. If you're talking about being in a place with a name or in a location, use in followed by the dative. Ich bin in Zürich, in der Schweiz, im Kino. In der Bäckerei. If you're talking about being with people, 
use by followed by the dative. Ich bin bei meinen Eltern beim Zahnarzt. If you're talking about being at home, use zu. Ich bin zu Hause. Place, where from. If you're talking about places with names, use aus. Ich komme aus Italien, aus Hamburg. If you're talking about locations or people, use von. Ich komme vom Kino, von der Post, vom Zahnarzt, von meinen Eltern. Of course, you can place things in cupboards, on tables, or hide things under your bed, but we can't give you the prepositions for all possible places here. We'll find out more about how to hang things on walls or lock them into a safe in the module about two-way prepositions. So what I challenge you to do now is to have a look at your agenda for the next fortnight and to form two sentences for each day, describing what you're planning to do using TMP. Ich muss am Mittwochmorgen zur Post gehen. Ich fahre heute um 10 Uhr mit dem Bus in die Stadt. There you go. When, where and how. Wenn das Wörtchen wenn nicht wäre, wäre mein Vater Millionär. All of you have a huge potential. And too often we shortchange ourselves by not going for what we're really capable of. In the sentences we create for this game, We're going to use the German wenn in the sense of if and when pointing to a future event instead of the conditional if, which would require us to use the subjunctive, which we don't know yet anyway. You all put together some nice things you want to happen to you by saying, if and when that happens, I will do this, that or the other. For example, Wenn ich durch Deutschland reise, treffe ich viele Freunde. Or, Wenn ich 40 bin, habe ich eine Familie mit drei Kindern. If you express your dream life scenario in this kind of affirmative statement form, you don't have to use the future tense, and your fantasies might even come true if you keep reiterating them. Receiving kickbacks without being a politician. This game is best done with somebody else, so arrange a time with your learning buddy. You have to connect two sentences using a subordinating conjunction. Remember that a subordinating conjunction like weil, because, really is weil and kicks the poor little finite verb to the end. We'll give you some model sentences. Before. Ich koche. Ich lese die Zeitung. Ich koche, bevor ich die Zeitung lese. You can now form lots of similar examples. It might be easiest to go through all of the conjunctions once by making up one example each and then start from the top again. Here are the other patterns. Das Er sagt Sie fährt im Sommer nach Deutschland. Er sagt, dass sie im Sommer nach Deutschland fährt. Weil Ich komme nicht. Ich habe kein Geld. Ich komme nicht, weil ich kein Geld habe. Ob Kommt er? Ich bin nicht sicher. Ich bin nicht sicher, ob er kommt. Wenn Ich schlafe immer ein. Ich lese. Ich schlafe immer ein, wenn ich lese. Obwohl es regnet. Wir gehen zum Fußballspiel. Obwohl es regnet, gehen wir zum Fußballspiel. Während. Er schläft am Morgen. Ich mache meine Hausaufgaben. Während er am Morgen schläft, mache ich meine Hausaufgaben. Warum ist die Banane krumm? Yes, of course we had to include this. And again, it's best done with a partner. All you do is take turns in pretending to be a three-year-old and ask lots of deep, awkward, silly, embarrassing why questions. And of course, you try to answer as well as you can. If you have kids, you'll remember that time. 
If you don't, it's good practice, just in case. And always repeat the question. So if you were asked, Warum ist die Banane krumm? You give an intelligent answer like, Die Banane ist krumm, weil sie nicht gerade ist. To vary things, note that often you can use the conjunction damit, so that, instead of weil, because, and explain in a slightly different way. Die Banane ist krumm, damit du sie besser halten kannst.